what is up guys Bomar here welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to create a PayPal account and link the bank into it but before we do make sure to smash that like button down there don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you'll be able to see my next video alright so without further ado let's get started Okay, so just a quick overview about the company. PayPal is an American company operates worldwide online payment system that supports online money transfer. So basically, ang main purpose lang ng PayPal ay sila yung nagre-receive ng payment or ng salary mo at ikaw mismo ang magsasend ng payment or ng salary mo to your bank account. Especially for those people who are planning to work online or uh, seeking for an online job. For example, in my case, when I work as an ESL teacher, so, rini-require talaga ng company namin na mag-create at mag-sign up ng PayPal account kasi hindi nila masasend yung salary directly to our bank account. So, yan ang pinakagamit ng PayPal. Kung wala ang PayPal, medyo mahihirapan yung mga employer, especially yung ESL company. At meron pang isang bagay na dapat gawin before isa-sign up ang PayPal. Dapat meron kang active email or working email kasi doon nila i-send yung mga verification code or confirmation na kailangan i-confirm bago mag-sign up ng PayPal. But I assume na meron na kayong email so let's see the actual thing in their website in PayPal. Okay? So first, open a browser so just type www.paypal.com at ito yung lalabas. Okay, so ito na yung website ng PayPal. So, ang gagawin natin ay magsa-sign up. So, click sign up. Alright, so after you click sign up, meron kang makikitang two options na pagpipilian. Actually, medyo nakakalito siya at first, but itong buy with PayPal, ito yung tinatawag nilang for personal purposes account. Like, if you're planning to work online as an ESL teacher, an online freelancer, or naghahanap ka pa lang ng online job right now, you can create a PayPal account in advance na para hindi ka na mahihirapan or kahit ano, even a YouTuber pwede silang gumamit ng PayPal kasi napakadali lang mag-send at kumuha ng money through PayPal ito namang receive payments with PayPal ito yung tinatawag nilang for business purposes account for example, nagbebenta ka ng product sa e-commerce or meron kang gustong bilhin sa kahit anong online shopping site ito ang dapat i-click mo kasi maraming partners ang PayPal na mga online stores Kasi eBay yung nagmamayari nito At ang eBay ay very popular na, na online shopping site sa buong mundo Actually, I have a link that has a list of online stores that accept PayPal in the description below So, i-click mo lang yung link At meron kang makikitang list of stores na pwedeng mag-accept ng PayPal When you buy their products online I-click mo lang yung small circle And then click next Alright, so dito, if you fill out mo lang siya, dapat insakto lahat ng details na ilalagay sa PayPal form, especially yung email dito. Dapat yung active email ang gagamitin mo sa PayPal because as what I have said, merong mga importanteng details na isi-send ang PayPal at take note, yung email mo ay magsisilbing PayPal account mo at ito ang gagamitin sa employer para makasend sila ng payments dito sa PayPal. So double check at huwag kang gumamit ng fake information Kung ano ang nasa birth certificate mo, yun ang ilalagay mo dito sa form. So, country would be Philippines, of course. First name. So, once you're done, just click next. Alright, so dito, date of birth. Dapat insakto yung date of birth. Kung ano nakalagay sa birth certificate mo, yun ang ilalagay mo dito. So, this one. And then, yung nationality, dapat supposed to be Filipino siya, pero since wala siyang, wala siyang uh, option na Filipino, so ang ilalagay natin ay Philippines. Just leave it Philippines. Alright, so here, if wala kang driver's license, national ID, and passport, you can use your SSS ID or yung UMED ID. Okay? ID number. So, I will use the ID number of my UMED. Okay? So actually, same lang yung uh, SSSID at UMED ID number. Okay. 
So your current address Alright, dito sa zip code Kung hindi nyo alam Kung ano ang zip code sa lugar nyo I-google nyo lang siya Google.com I-type mo lang yung zip code Space yung lugar nyo For example um, That one So, meron ka makikitang uh, zip code number. Yung zip code number at saka postal code number ay uh, the same lang. Okay? So, yung zip code namin ay 8600. And then, province. Uh, make sure na alam nyo to. Okay? So, yung phone number mo. Okay? Okay, so make sure to check mo yung I confirm that I have read. Okay lang na hindi nyo ito check yung activate one touch. And then agree and create account. Alright, so your account has been created. Congratulations. However, hindi mo pa magagamit ang PayPal kasi hindi mo pa nalilink yung bank sa PayPal. So, ang gagawin natin ay add a card to start using PayPal accounts. Ika-click mo lang yung uh, nasa iba ba. Alright. So, meron kang makikitang add a card to shop or send payments later. If you have credit card, you can put the credit card number here. Expiration date. If ever wala kang credit card, you can click this. I'll do it later. Alright. So, start shopping with PayPal. So, i-click mo lang tong go to your account. Take a moment to confirm your email address. I-click mo lang tong confirm your email address. Okay. And then, send email. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay pupunta tayo sa Gmail. Alright. So, as you can see, ito yung makikita mo sa email na inilagay mo sa PayPal form. So, dito nila isi-send yung confirmation. So, confirm your email address. So, click to activate your account. So, i-click mo lang to para ma-activate yung PayPal account mo. So, click natin to at merong lalabas na new tab. So, itatype natin yung password sa email address. So, confirm email address. Yung email mo as what I have said earlier. Ito yung gagamit. So, confirm your mobile number for extra security. So, merong isi-send ang PayPal sa phone mo. So, make sure na active yung, yung number na inilagay mo sa PayPal account. Alright, so meron ka receive na text message galing sa PayPal. So, ang gagawin nyo lang ay ikakapi mo yung code na nasa phone mo. So, ito yung code na nakita ko sa phone ko. Itatype ko na. So, itatype ko. And then, continue. Okay. So, you're all set. Thanks for helping us keep your account secure. Alright. So, as you can see, account has been created. Email address confirmed. Okay. So, kapag meron kayong nakita na dalawang check sa... Uh, page na ito sa website na ito it means meron na kayong PayPal account and congratulations however hindi nyo pa magagamit yung PayPal account kasi wala pa kayong bank or wala pa kayong card na nililink sa PayPal account nyo kailangan meron kang bank account pwede kahit anong bank ko ma BTO, BPI, Metro Bank, China Bank Union Bank si lahat pwede malilink sa PayPal so let's check kung paano ililink ang bank sa PayPal okay So, punta ka sa iba ba? Meron ka mga kitang add a bank account or card. So, i-click mo lang siya. So, meron ka mga kitang two options. Bank accounts and credit cards uh, option. So, dito sa link a bank account, dito mo ililink yung mga uh, bank accounts mo. Dito sa link a card, dito mo ililink yung Gcash at saka Paymaya. So, if yung gamit mo ay bank, so, i-click mo to. Okay. But I will let you know 
kung paano ililink yung GCash at saka Paymaya dito sa credit card. Okay, so meron kang makikitang bank name, bank code, account number, re-enter account number. Okay, so ang una mong gagawin, alright, so ang una mong gagawin ay i-input mo yung bank name. So for example, China Bank. Yan. So, para malaman mo kung ano ang code, ang bank code ng China Bank, i-click mo tong list of bank codes at merong mag-o-open na new tab. Alright, so as you can see, meron kang makikita ang bank code at saka bank name. So, hanapin mo lang yung bank mo. So, since we're using China Bank, this one. So, ikakapi mo lang yung bank code sa China Bank at copy and then ipipaste mo lang siya dito sa uh, bank code na at ipipaste mo lang siya dito sa bank code yan alright so pagkatapos mong ilagay yung bank code ilalagay mo rin yung account number and then we enter account number and then just click continue at hopefully uh, malilink mo yung bank ko sa paypal but if merong error, so just um, read the error carefully. Kung ano ang mga uh, missing or kung merong mga kulang na information na hindi mo nalagay sa PayPal, and eventually mag work din yun. So um, yun lang. And punta tayo sa paglink ng GCash. So let's go back. Okay. All right, so I already showed you how to link the bank account to your PayPal account. Ngayon naman, ang topic natin ay GCash or yung Paymaya. So yung Paymaya, meron akong ilalagay sa description na tutorial kung paano mag-activate ng Paymaya. So i-check niyo lang siya sa description. Yung sa GCash naman, kung hindi pa kayo na ka-activate ng GCash account, so punta ka lang sa pinakamalapit na Globe Outlet sa inyong lugar at tutulungan ka nila mag-activate ng account sa GCash. Meron silang activation fee. Nakalimutan ko na magkano yun basta hindi aabot ng 1,000 ang babayaran mo sa pag-activate ng GCash. May ibibigay sila na SIM card at parang ATM card kagaya nito at makikita mo doon ang card number sa harap ng card. Okay, so by the way, ang GCash card ay isang MasterCard at para ma-check mo yung pera sa GCash, kailangan mong mag-download ng app sa phone mo after mo mag-activate ng GCash account sa Globe. I would recommend na sa Globe Outlet kayo mag-a-activate kasi napakatagal ang proseso kapag sa online or sa Facebook kasi meron silang page kung saan pwede kayong mag-ask kung paano i-activate yung GCash. Okay? So, once meron na kayong account sa GCash, meron na kayong card, uh, the MasterCard. So, ang gagawin natin ay ililink ili natin yung GCash to your PayPal account. So, i-click mo lang tong uh, plus button. So, card type. So, as what I have said, yung GCash ay MasterCard. And then, the card number. So, the card number would be on the front of your card. Okay. And then, expiration date of your card. And then, the three digits uh, verification number. So, after that, i-click mo lang itong save. And hopefully, it will go through successfully. Okay? So, if merong error, just read the error carefully. Kung meron kayong kulang or mga uh, hindi na fill out sa form. Okay. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment down below. If natulungan ko kayo, make sure to give a thumbs up for this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace.